Uh, so I'm sure plenty of you have seen or heard of Muggle Quidditch. Uh, those eccentric Harry Potter fans chasing each other around uh, with shafts in between their legs and all that. Um, and I'm sure some of you are curious about this on-campus phenomenon, which is why today I've invited Muggle Quidditch captain Carmen Wormtoad to talk to us about her club. Come on out, Carmen. All right. Thank you. Good evening, Paul. Hi. May the odds be forever in your favor. <laughs> Thanks, Carmen. Uh, so what's, uh, what's at the bow and arrow for? Well, you see, Paul, after the Harry Potter movies failed to win any Oscars, we decided to find a new Quidditch sport to take entirely too seriously. And you chose archery, which is an Olympic sport. No, Paul. You see, we tried out vampire baseball from Twilight for a while, but seeing as none of us are actually vampires, it ended up just being regular baseball. And none of us would be caught dead playing a real-life sport. <laughs> Am I right? I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Sports are so dumb. <laughs> You're right. So naturally, we moved on to the next teen literary sensation, The Hunger Games. Oh, isn't isn't the Hunger Games movie coming out pretty soon? You're darn well right, it is. Uh, is that a is that a thing from the thing? Yes. Yes, it is. Good. All right. Uh, <laughs> So let me guess, Carmen, uh, you all run around with baseball bats and Nerf guns and the last one hit wins, right? Oh god, no. You see, Paul, with Muggle Quidditch, we got a lot of flack for not actually flying around on our broomsticks. You got flack for that? So, with the University of Miami Hunger Games team, we decided to get as close to the real thing as we possibly could. Sure. If by real thing you mean the fake thing, because it's from a book. Oh my god, Paul. We're pretty confident that the real deaths will attract a lot more newcomers, which is really important because only one person returns from each match, you know, because everyone else dies. So, hold on, wait a minute. The university okayed this on campus. What, you mean because we're killing off 23 students each match? No, that's fine. In fact, it's good you guys are killing yourselves off. Just how do all these fictional sports keep getting their own clubs? That's what's really horrifying. Like, why can't we just have a Dungeons and Dragons club like the good old days? Shh, Paul! Keep it down or they'll find me! I'm actually in the middle of the 78th Hunger Games right now. Right now? Right now! Oh my god. <laughs> I figured I'd hide in here because, well, nobody really even knows this place exists. But I do. <gasps> How'd you find me? I was here for the 21 Jump Street ticket. Oh my god, my quiver! My quiver! Dash! <laughs> The Hunger Games. Not so fast. For District 10. The the podiatry district. Yes. <laughs> All right. I won the Hunger Games. All right. Well, we'll be right back with more. No, 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 no. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. This is all bullshit. I'm so sick of this. No, the Hunger Games was set in a futuristic America, so it wouldn't be the 78th Hunger Games. It'd be the like negative 108th Hunger Games. Secondly, District 10 is not the podiatry district. It's the livestock district, you asshole. Thirdly, this would have known that he was not the last one in the Hunger Games because Susan Collins wrote it. 